Hello friends, uh, welcome to this video on Python programming and in this video uh, we are going to take a look at how to use the Python interactive shell okay, uh, to run our code, okay, execute and test things. So first of all, uh, as you can see, I have opened Visual Studio Code okay, and now uh, what I'm going to do is, so uh, in case uh, you are using Python 3, okay, then you have to use this command. So you have to go to the terminal, okay, as you can see at the bottom and then you have to type Python 3 dot 10 so i am using python 3.10.7 so i am uh, typing python 3.10.7 and in case uh, you are using uh, windows okay uh, you will need to use pi-3 so i will tell you how to do that so if you are using windows you will use something like this pi-3 okay and it will work and uh, since we are using mac so i am typing python 3.10 and hit enter and you see uh, that the interactive shell is open now and you see these three arrow marks right so now okay we can uh, write our code here so for example i i have to say calculate uh, what is the price of the mangoes so i'll take a variable okay mangoes and i'll say 10 and then i will say price price is equal to 20 okay and then i will calculate what is the total cost total cost is equal to mangoes into price okay so let's give a space yeah enter and now you see that okay it's not giving any error okay till now so now uh, we can just uh, print what is the total cost okay so i will say print total cost okay so the total cost variable or uh, whatever value uh, it is computing that's mangoes into price okay it will be stored in total cost and we are just printing uh, the value of this variable okay the there is a spelling error total underscore cost okay so let's hit enter and you see 200 right so that's 10 into 20 which is 200 so that means uh, we are able to execute properly okay whatever code we are writing uh, we can easily test it out on the shell but one disadvantage okay of using the shell is that whatever code okay we have written we will not be able to save it okay so that is why uh, usually what we will do is we will uh, create uh, a python file okay so we have a python project in that you can just create a python file in that so i have created a file okay using this python underscore shell dot py and in this okay i can write the same code in case i have to save my code uh, i'm telling you in that case so say I write the same code here, mangoes is equal to 10 and price is equal to 20 and then total cost okay, is equal to uh, mangoes into price. Okay. So this code, okay, I am able to, uh, you know, I'll be able to save this. Okay. So later on also I can use this. So uh, in case I have to, so I'll just show you how to execute this code also. So uh, first of all, uh, so one more thing. So in the interactive shell, right, I'm using this print, print total cost, right? So even that is not needed. Okay, you can directly write total cost, okay, and hit enter. And see, it's showing you the value of the total cost variable. Similarly, if I print mangoes, I hit enter, and it's showing me what is the value stored in the variable mangoes. So variables are nothing, they're just names, okay, that we give uh, to any value, okay, that we want to store, value, text, string, whatever we want to store. We have to associate a name with that and that name is called a variable okay so it's kind of a container which is going to contain uh, whatever value or text we want so that's uh, so th that's uh, that that's something that you can do with the shell okay but the same implementation okay that uh, i'm just using total cost right and i'm able to get the value okay printed on the console this you will not be able to do with the script okay the dot py file that we are creating this you will not have to do so here you will have to do print you have to use print only okay so print and then just give the variable total cost okay so i'll tell you uh, let's save this uh, so first uh, let's save our program command s so this is uh, saved in our file python underscore shell dot py and now uh, let's exit our shell and okay it's saying exit then you have to give parenthesis enter so now you are out of the interactive shell and let's execute the program that we just wrote here so command s the program is saved and now go to this run button here okay and click that so you see okay the program got executed and we are getting 200 as the answer but okay if i 
comment this out okay and i show you okay this this example that we did in the interactive shell right that we just gave the variable name and we were able to get the output okay so this will not work so if i write here total cost okay and i save my program command s okay and let me just clear the console oh sorry uh price yeah so what i was trying to do is uh, i'm just trying to clear the console so that it's easy to view okay the outputs so clear uh now just save your program with command s okay program is saved now go to the run button here and click that you see nothing is getting printed right that means that we were not able to get the value of total cost okay when we are using uh, a python script right using uh, whatever name.py but in case of the in case of the interactive shell okay we saw that uh, even uh, without using a print statement we are able to get the value of total cost right but if i'm uh, so suppose i <coughs> comment it out in the file and i i enable this print okay and then i do a command s so program is saved let's run it now and now you are able to see 200 so whenever you are using a python file okay you have to make sure that you are using a print okay then only you will be able to you know display things on the console or on the terminal but in case of interactive shell you don't need to do that but the disadvantage of the shell is you will not be able to save okay whatever code you have written so this is how we use the interactive shell in python uh, thanks for watching and see you in the next video